In this video, I'm going to show you three books that I'm currently reading. I'm going to tell you what they're about. And I would be very interested what topic of the books interests you the most. And so please leave a comment telling me which topic is most interesting for you. The first book I'm currently reading, and that is actually a book in paperback. I usually read them on my iPad, but this one I read like a real book. <laughs> like they used to be. It's a paperback book. It's called photography for everyone. Yeah, I picked this book up on our trip uh, through Germany. I thought this book could actually make me better at creating videos by have, understanding the basic concepts of photography. And I, I it has really good advice in the book to, for basic pictures and, and some very common knowledge that you don't have to think about, you know, by nature and other things are really good information. For example, one little thing I learned from this book is how to make so that objects actually stand out from the background, how to make the background sharper or less sharper with the settings on your camera. Camera. So, and it is full with really nice illustrations and examples in this book, it's really to the details. And the good thing is actually it, it matches the camera I'm using, the G7X Canon. That's my main camera here for vlogging. So that's the first book I'm reading. The second book I'm reading is Crushing It from Gary Vaynerchuk. I'm reading this on my iPad. This is how it looks on the iPad. Crushing It for Ga from Gary Vaynerchuk. And it is about being an ent entrepreneur, uh, creating your business, creating your influence, uh, how to use different social media platforms like Instagram, YouTube, what the purpose is, mistakes not to make. And in the end, it's all about pursuing your dreams and make your dreams come true. So I really enjoy that topic here covered in the book, crushing it. Let me give you some sites quickly that I already made in that book. One is if you're earning what you need to live, the life you want and loving every day of it, then you're crushing it. Another one, if there's anything this book should teach you. It's that the only thing stopping you from achieving lasting career and life happiness is you. So it is full of that great knowledge here. Another one I really like here is I want the world to mourn me when I die, not just for being a decent human being, but for building something tremendous and predicting where the future of business lay. Gary Vaynerchuk, he built a $150 million media company. He's so genuine. He's a great guy. Definitely check out Gary Vaynerchuk. And here is one side that actually, in my opinion, matches him very well. He says, I genuinely don't give a shit what people think, which allows me complete freedom to do and say what I want. Number two. I care immensely what everyone thinks and will spend an insane amount of time responding to skeptics who take the time to tweet or comment their criticism to help them see where I'm coming from. And number three, which might be more important than number one or two, I always respect my audience. <laughs> that is the book. Crushing it, my number two. The third book I just started reading yesterday is this one here, The Plant Paradox. And this is from Dr. Stephen Gundry. And it's about nutrition. It's about your diet, how you, what you should eat and what you should not eat. I was always very interested in that topic. And in the end, it also goes back to what went wrong when human beings started eating stuff they haven't eaten 10,000 years ago. So he explains his opinion on why some foods are bad for human beings and others are not. One idea, for example, I took from this book already. As I said, I just started yesterday. And it's really an interesting book, in my opinion. And he's, by the way, a heart surgeon, a cardiologist and immunologist. And he also has a YouTube channel that you want to check out. Dr. Gundry. At the start of the book, he basically explains that there are two kinds of plants. Plants are not just there to be eaten. Plants actually also want to defend their offspring from animals and human beings. And there's basically two kinds of plants. One kind of plant does not want you to eat their offspring, therefore poisons it, like for example grains are that kind of plants that actually poison the little corn so that you get sick by eating it. 
So that's one kind of plant and the other kind of plant actually wants you to eat their offspring, but only when it is protected and ready. And he says the second kind of plant that wants to be eaten, they want to carry away their offspring to another place where, for example, a new apple tree can grow in another place. The apple tree doesn't want uh, new apple trees to grow very close. They want you to carry it away, but they have Develop the system to tell you when they want you to eat it. Like an apple will actually be green when you cannot eat it. And that was the case long, long time before green apples were, were cultured that you can eat when they're green. Nature has those signals like when the apple is still green, you cannot yet eat it. And then the apple, when it's ready to be eaten, it turns red. And that's the time when the apple will actually be good for you. And before that, there is also some... I call it poisonous stuff in it that's not good for you or it will be sour to signal the animal or human being that you should not eat it. So that's one thing the book starts off with. As I said, I just read it. I came to that book uh, through Impact Theory, the YouTube channel Impact Theory, where Dr. Gantry was a guest and talked about the book. What he says, for example, here at the very start of the book is, the more fruit I removed from an individual's diet, the healthier he or she became and the more his or her cholesterol numbers and markers for kidney function improved. The more I removed vegetables that have lots of seeds, such as cucumbers and squash, the better my patients felt. Because what he says here at the start is... Let me switch that off. I just noticed it's still on, so let me switch that off. What he says, a differentiation of plants that want to be eaten and plants that don't want to be eaten is their seeds. Plants with a lot of seeds, like grain. So very interesting book, in my opinion. Um, I don't say it's true or not true. In the end, it's just opinions and things you may consider when reading such a kind of a book. I'm definitely gonna read it because I think he's very clear in explaining. This is the book. Once again, the plant paradox and also very interesting. So please leave a comment. Which of the three topics of those three books would interest you the most? And I may actually do a video about that book once I finished it. So the first was photography. Is that a topic that you're into? The second one, how to grow your audience, how to crush it in business from Gary Vaynerchuk. And the third one about Diet, the plant paradox. Three interesting books, three totally different topics. Also tell me what kind of books you are reading at the moment. Please leave a like and subscribe to my YouTube channel. See you in the next video.